Hello, screen friends. Welcome back to Sally's the Dog Numero Dose, where I test dumb things that I don't have the balls to do on the first channel because the YouTube algorithm is scary. Today, we're going to test a conspiracy theory. I had a comment the other day that I saw, and for the life of me, I can't find it. I've searched for like 20 minutes before I hit record. If it was you, I am really sorry. But the theory was this. You get different lobbies based on what your favorite loadout is. If it's a meta loadout, you're going to get put with the sweats. If it's a really bad loadout, you get an easier lobby. So what I did is I made two classes. The one you see right here is an XRK Stalker with a striker SMG. It's a very good class. The game should look at this and think, oh, okay, this guy knows what he's doing. He plays a lot. Let's throw him in the blender. Then I made this loadout with the mini Bach. And what's my other gun? That's right. It's an LMS, a gun that I don't even have fully leveled and it's from Modern Warfare 2. If the theory holds, the game should look at that class and be like, you know, this guy's a bot. Let's give him an easy one. Do I know if this will work? Absolutely not. But it was just something that really piqued my curiosity and I wanted to try it. Let's see if I can kill this guy just to get a, just to get a feel for usernames. Their name was just Dutch. Any other floaters or are we going to have to wait for this game to start. What about you? No, you dropped. So here's the deal, all right? This is not going to be the most scientific experiment. We're going to be looking for a few different things in the two different lobbies that we play. But we can't start looking until I start cooking the ground with my exoskeleton. Boom! I'm going to try to go to a high traffic area so we get as many POVs as possible because what we're looking for, general kill count is obviously a very important one. If we see some demon over here with like 30 kills, that's a good sign. What about you? Excuse me. Excuse me. A drop shot right away. Evonix. Evonix, a level 43. That's a low level. I, I'm just curious. I don't. I didn't see anything suspect there. And they died. They died because they got caught reloading. We had Slicks, and now we have FaZe, Lil, Tism. I'm just going to call them FaZe. They have one kill. Usernames are also another thing that we're going to look for. I'm not saying if you have a very succinct or ridiculous username, you're good or bad. But especially because of that. <coughs> But sometimes it can be a bellwether for the actual skill of the lobby. Wow, they actually got a kill on a grenade they put down. That's surprising to me, but they are playing this so odd. And this Bruin, decidedly not an SMG, but do they know they can aim down sight? So far, this is not lending itself to the idea that your loadout matters. Oh, they have a C4 down in here as well. Got it. The other thing we're looking for is just the movement of the lobbies. This would be a whole lot easier if I could go in and use an API to see, like, how good the people were in my lobby, but Call of Duty decided that that's no fun, and they want, oh, that guy was a shadow. What's your name? One Lost Noodle. They just ran into a C4, or, or a Claymore. I'm not sure. You need to put on an armor plate immediately. Larry Kapia on the prox chat. I hope we don't get to watch Larry, because I don't know if I can hear their open mic the entire time. So far, it looks like Winery was the place to drop, so we're going to replicate that in the second game, when my favorite loadout is probably the worst loadout known to mankind. You're going to put a microwave at the top of the stairwell. That is toxic, and I support it. How did... That guy ran right past your microwave, and you got spit on. By Slicks. Okay, this is the first person that we saw after they killed me. Three kills. They're moving around like an absolute crazy person. I like this. Oh, my... Oh, my God. I feel like this is the type of POV that I see in, like, some awful screaming rap song with, like, movement clips posted on Twitter. Are you going to try to gun this person, or what? Where are we going, Slicks? Maybe have a YY macro. Who knows? Okay, this is getting to be so... This is so much. This is the POV of what I thought we would get immediately when we dropped in, but I guess both lobbies can be filled with bots, so we gotta make sure that we get to the end of each lobby. Oh my god. Is that Larry? No, Larry's still alive over there. I feel like my ADHD is getting worse just watching this POV. Nice shots. I feel like they're on controller because that looked like some crazy rotational aim is just dragged to me. They're just going to keep it moving, though. Five kills already for slicks. The other thing I've seen, as I mentioned those clips on Twitter, though, like, people always go around YYing macros, but then they're also, like, hiding cheats. They have combat scout on Larry. <laughs> I'm not saying this person is. It's just something let's keep our keep our eyes on the lookout for. Maybe you're dead. Indeed you are. Something tells me they'll be back. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, man, another sweat. They're slide canceling all around. You guys are ready for this POV? Nice shot. Four kills. They already have their loadout gun. They have a striker nine, and they have... What is this again? Why did I... FJ... Not an FJX. Sally, use your brain. XRK Stalker. I'm going to be on my deathbed suffering from just a ridiculous amount of dementia, not even knowing my own name, and someone can come up to me and be like, hey, Sally, do you remember the meta loadout for the M4 in Warzone 1? And I'll be able to rattle it off. Sally, were you Team Swiss or Team Car? Swiss is either the name of a country or a type of cheese. It's not a name for any type of sniper rifle. Team Car all the way. They need sunglasses for this map. That's a non sec Order, but it's something I believe. Side note, Obi-Wan Kenobi might be one of the better usernames I've ever seen. 
Props to this guy. Are you gonna get pushed by our friend from earlier? Maybe. I feel like they didn't miss that many bullets, so probably not. Ooh, that was too close for comfort. They got the kill, though. That was not our friend from earlier. That guy's still YYing in some other part of this map. So far, this is looking pretty sweaty. Yeah, they full sent right back. You have five bullets left. Probably reload before you push this, but they're gonna go right at it. This person's trying to get back. Oh, you saw him out there. You saw Groot in the garden. Oh, no. They heard him. They were just, like, crouched in a corner and it actually worked. I should also say, because I'm a man of science and you all deserve to get a true experiment, it is my long-held belief that my first couple lobbies of the day are very easy. This is definitely not my first game playing. Observant ones of you will notice. Wait, Sally, you were wearing that same t-shirt in the last video. Yeah, it's because I just recorded it. And this lobby is getting kind of torched. There's only 21 people left. Let's go see if you are about to zip line to your own death. I mean, they're even playing the zip lines correctly. True or not, this theory, if this theory is true or not, we'll find out next game, but it's going to be hard to get sweatier than this. Oh, there you go. You got eyes on. Which way are they going to go? They heard you. They heard me. We're all using the art. We're all using the artist war tune family. Wow, they got spit on again. Who is this? Oh, it's Dutch. I killed this guy in the pregame lobby. How many kills you got, Dutch? Five. I feel like we've seen a wide variety of movement styles on this game, but like the kills are actually playing pretty close together. Also, like everyone has maxed out their sense. I don't know if that's a rebirth thing or what. I think they just saw someone on top of here. Watch your six. Yeah, they did. They just laid motionless and waited for you to climb the ladder like a good boy. Ninja Escorpion. I imagine the Spanish word for ninja is ninja. Seven kills. They are running... Well, now they're running the same XRK Stalker, a gun that I remember the name of now. It's time for you to rotate into zone, my friend. The time is now. And you have... Oh, that's a long stretch. Nice shot. They're running the sniper rifle too, though. And unfortunately, you've angered someone who can hold you with a very long-range weapon. As they say in the movie Dodgeball, that is a bold move, Cotton. Are you going to pay the price? Or are they just going to let you meander your little hiney into zone? It looks like the latter. I feel like this isn't a ground loot ram, but somehow it has two attachments on it and is absolutely shredding. They hear more footsteps. It's time to put this two attachment ram to the test. They're right over here. You can hear them. I can hear them at least. My audio is always a little bit quieter for you guys because I don't feel like being held responsible in the class action lawsuits for damaging your hearing. It's fine. You can just put on plates and run at the same time. You probably know that. You have eight kills. You know what you're doing. Well, no, they did a full plate. I take it all back. They're going to finesse around, try to take some high ground on this person. Maybe. Potentially. And then immediately give up the high ground. Do they just see him right there? No. They're, like, closer. I think. Everyone's audio has, like, slowly gotten so much better that it's just a game of, oh, I heard you, you heard me, let's not move. Audio is one of those things, and I guess it's OP, the tuning the audio on the PC. I have, like, kind of a tune on, but I don't go all the way because I think it makes the video sound awful, so I don't do it. I always say that if you feel invincible when you have something equipped, in the game at least then it's probably a little bit OP, and audio is absolutely that way. It's for me, not for thee. We are now storming a castle. The ninja is inside the walls. I think there's like two or three people stomping around. There's only eight other players left. Number one hot shot is on the prox chat now. You could use... Well, oh my. A lot of conflict happening above them. They almost ran directly out into the rep precision airstrike, and that would have that would have really made me chuckle. They're a red bounty threat, so I'm assuming they're somewhere above them, but Got they... Yeah. A precision and a mortar streak. Twice the fun, really. I'm assuming there's some sweat that they're going to face off at the end game because this lobby is number one hotshot. Tend to your child. I have mine up on the baby monitor right now. If you start hearing him screaming, it's because he got vaccines today. Because, like, I don't want my kid to get polio. But when that happens, they are just a temperamental sleeper. Got him right here. He's looking like a little angel. Anyway, back to the game. Gas is moving. Footsteps above. Oh, this is a tough gunfight. Everyone has to rotate, and you don't have a gas mask. Three other players left. One is at least above them. Like, I also get it. Oh, there's someone right below them. You missed them in the window. Nice shot. I get it, though. Like, you're in endgame and your kid's crying. You're like, can you please, can you can you just hold on for one more second? Absolutely 1,000% someone above you who has a gas mask and you're about to drop on you. I lied. You know what, guys? I lied to you. There is not someone above them. UAV? That's a gift from the COD gods. We can't see the pings, but hopefully they can. They're looking around like they do. Oh, boy, they were ready for you. And you don't have a smoke to get out of this, so you might as well just throw that up. Hope that they don't see you, but... Oh my god, go, 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 go! They're fighting! They're fighting! Now it's a 1v1 for the win, and you squandered your opportunity. No way they win this. I think that guy's over there tending to his baby. Oh, uh, they mortar struck where they were before? So maybe they don't know where they are. They're fighting in this little gazebo now here. How is this game going to end? This two-attachment ram. 
Just pay and dip. Oh, wait, you just saw him. If they win this, I will run an entire game with a two attachment ram in their honor. You saw them, though, right? Do some hardcore parkour. Get on the roof. Oh, that's where they are. They're above you. Why is this the most confusing in game ever? Yes, you see him. It's wood. I believe you can wall bang it. All those little things are glory holes. 23 bullets left. Didn't really need to do that, but okay, sure. Don't make me use this ram. Are you going to buy a gas mask? That's one of the most clutch plays I've ever seen. Requested fire. The sheer awareness, but like also put on plates. I'm sorry this is going on so much longer than it should be, but like... Is the mortar shriek gonna get him? No! Your boy is a winner. Now I gotta go make sure my loadout is a mini bot and an LMS. God, that looks hilarious. This is easily the worst SMG they ever put in the game. It's just the least menacing SMG ever created. Can I even get a long range kill? I can't even get a hit marker. What about the LMS? <laughs> 10 round mag, you kidding me? <laughs> oh man. Winery is like kind of in zone, kind of not. I feel like that was the case last game, but for scientific experiments sake, I will be going back there. First, I just gotta, you know, do this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna get right on up. And look at that, spawn me right over it. Love that for me, love that for you, love that for us. Where are the people? One person pulled their sheet right by me, what's up? Hello, friend, how are you? You wanna kill me and I can spectate you? Uh, no, it's not fun. Oh, yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? It's it'll be a great time. You can execute me if you want. You no, can do it. No. <laughs> he did, I don't know if this guy wants to be spectated, but too bad. They have dad in their clan tag. Is the new father? I relate. Sure, old factor. First kill of the game. Did you die as quickly? Guys, I thought they were about to die to fall damage. I really did. Now they have a slug haymaker shotgun. They got the movement though. They are being naded. I am emotionally attached to this individual. I hope they run the gauntlet. You know what they're doing? What was this guy all about? You got the movement. You're swapping things out. Oh, tactical camera? Question mark? Eh. Now they have a Bruin. I mean, everything's starting off like it was the other game. We got somebody running around with a Bruin. Hostile mosquito is online. That's a movement king. That person just cares about their movement on Rebirth Island. Good win. Let's go, Cheryl Factor. I don't know if you can hear me. Bark twice if you're in Milwaukee. They can't hear me. They got stims. That's that's the first step to becoming a movement god. Popping stims. Got flashes. They have the ISO and they have a haymaker shotgun. All right. And perks and a mosquito drone. Are you not gonna pick up the perks? I feel like always worthwhile to pick them up if you don't have them. Oh, someone's back. The C4 is about to go right on the stairwell. Medic perk equipped. They're definitely in the building with thousand percent. Someone's upstairs and about to run into a C4. It's the movement god from before. Damn it! It's okay, they're coming back, but like, I don't like this person now. Vegeta, Vegeta, right? Am I saying that right? Is my Dragon Ball Z lore correct? Kind of a villain, then kind of not. Wait, what are you doing? Always sketchy when that happens. Oh, there's Starlight, Starbright. Let's see the movement got in action. They're just letting him run away. I think they might have been putting their gun on tax stance. Not toggling cheats, question mark? Starlight is absolutely below ground now, so. Are you gonna go try to find them? You are. You're gonna go swimming in the St. Patrick's Day water. Someone's definitely down here. Oh my god. Hit him with movement! Hey, why didn't you hit him with the movement? Say why, man. Why? I feel like on the sweatiness scale, we are not quite at peak last game. But this person's very scared. They have a gas mask, so they should be able to rotate out of here fine. They did. But they still have a very long ways to go. That would be them. How are you gonna play this? And are they gonna push? Slash, is it my dad friend from earlier? That was incredibly rude. I believe that's attempted murder. Yeah, you throw an A-10 Warthog at somebody. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're, you're in some trouble here. They might be getting helped out because someone landed on that person, but you know, there's still the person behind you. Have you hit your loadout yet? You haven't. They got a ram and they got a... Uh... It's movement god again. Yeah, see, the movement doesn't help if you can't hit your gunshots. You know, that's that's the, that's the unfortunate reality of it. Oh, someone hit a zip line to the top of the church. This HRM looks really good. I still haven't really fine-tuned the movement HRM, but that's unlucky. 
If you guys have the class, let me know in the comments. You only have seven bullets. I would, yeah, yeah. Now, I don't know who made that comment. Now, as I said at the top, I don't know who made that comment. But right now, this is feeling like people are perspiring in this lobby. There's a whole lot of sweat taking place. A lot of these gamers are going to need to recharge their electrolytes after this one. Especially that movement god, who I hope we never have to see again. But we got to get to the end to see, number one, if we can find any more less sweaty people that have somehow stayed alive when all these people are running around YYing. And also, if my dad friend's still alive. For Ratskin wins this game, and you're not subscribed. Subscribe to Sally's a dog too. I feel like that's a fair trade. Putting this channel's entire future in his hands. Portable radar out, mosquito drone. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh. They have someone on their portobello mushroom. Right over Meow. They're gonna rotate right past them. I wanna see this ram in action. Ram's just so good. They have the all-arounder blueprint on it. Okay, so this is the gamer that obviously navigates and consults their mini-map. That's a good sign. They saw the ping, they got into a better spot to deal with it, and now, unfortunately, they might lag out of this lobby. I've never watched someone rubber band like this. What is happening? They dodged a mosquito drone, and now they have YouTube Flocka on their prox jet. Well, they made it far enough away that that person is now not blasting whatever the hell they were listening to. No, nope, they're back. Just kidding. Please tell me they died. Please. I don't want to hear whatever they're listening to ever again in my life. You know, I'm sure it's probably a great song, but I don't want to hear it through someone's gaming headset. Sounds like someone is directly above them. Indeed. You have one more. Oh, they're trying to bait him down. This is genius. Bait him down into that C4. Oh my god. I mean, I probably wouldn't do that after I got stunned. But maybe Temptation's gonna get the better of him. You could put another Claymore there if you wanted to. Just saying. This is clearly a very resourceful player. I want to see what other tricks they have up their sleeve. God, it, it would just give me life if someone came down here like that. Uh-oh. You might have just... Yeah, and then I think that blew your thing up too. I don't condone the C4 strategy, but in this instance, I'd really like it to work. Resurgence now over. Man, the ram just simply doesn't move. Well, it's time for them to move. The sewer claymore play, not gonna work. Something tells me they have bigger plans for us. There's a floater right above you. Nice shots. Every time they la lag, it makes me really nervous. They're, they haven't given up on it yet. They still think someone's up here. They could be, but they're being very sneaky about it. I know we haven't had as many POV changes this game, but right now it's feeling a little less sweaty. Let's see what happens in endgame. They're clearing out their back, making sure no one's going to sneak up behind them, which is, you know, a solid strategy in a battle royale game. There goes another Claymore. Are they going to get someone with that? Maybe. Go off. Go off. I don't know. I feel like they saw it. Maybe that one's going to hit. They're running out of claymores here. Someone's above them, someone's behind them. That's a current state of play. And they should probably fight. Take the claymore with you. No, no, definitely above you. Bum, bum. There's the gunfight you were looking for. You're they didn't bring it with them. Five. Bring home the win. Five squads still operational in the AO. There's absolutely a gunfight right above them, and they don't know quite what to do with it. I feel like you're committed to, yeah, attacking your gas mask. There's only two other players left. Stay alert. But without claymores, how will they ever survive? That's a tough gunfight to win. I respect you backing it on up. They're shouldering. Oh, that's such a good nade. That's really unlucky. Are they going to hit him with the finesse here? No way, right? They really had no other option there. It's cash. I'm assuming that's what the X stands for. I isolated and solved for the variable. It's letter A. Cash versus who else? Oh, okay. 13 kills. They have attack evolver and a Ram 9 SMG. There you go. Man, attack evolver just sounds so cool when it shoots. Let me know what you guys think about the results of this one. I don't know. Too many variables. Yeah. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you when I see you.